Okay, so let's solve this problem. So an object is dropped from the top of the tower that's 119 meters high. Then how long it takes an object to reach the ground? So this one for the time. Then what is the final velocity before hitting the ground? So this is the BF. So if this is the tower, the 119 meters tower, then you drop an object. So take note that if you drop an object, the initial velocity is equal to zero and the displacement since going down, so that becomes negative 119 meters. Then we also have the gravity, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Then this time, to find now the time or how long it takes an object to reach the ground, so we have this formula, so the displacement equals the initial velocity times the time plus one half times the gravity times the time squared. Then substitute now the values. So the displacement is negative 119 meters equals the initial velocity is zero times the time then plus one half and the gravity that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time squared. Then to simplify, so we have negative 119 meters equals this one is 0 and 1 half times negative 9.8. So we can have negative 9.8 divided by 2 or times 0.5. So this is equal to negative 4.9. So we have negative 4.9 meters per second squared in times the time squared. Then divide both sides by negative 4.9 meters per second squared. Divide by negative 4.9 meters per second squared in cancel. So this negative 119 divided by negative 4.9. So negative 119 divided by negative 4.9 equals, that's 24.29. So this is 24.29 seconds squared equals the time squared. Then to solve for the time, take the square root, so take the square root, cancel, so we have now the time equals, so for the square root of 24.29 equals, so the time is 4.93, so this is 4.93 seconds, so this is now the time. It takes an object to reach the ground. Then this time to find now the final velocity and the formula for the final velocity. So we have the BF equals the initial velocity plus the gravity times the time. So we have now the final velocity equals the initial velocity is zero, then plus the gravity, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time is 4.93 seconds. So we have now the final velocity equals, so this negative 9.8 times 4.93 so we have negative 9.8 times 4.93 equals, so that's negative 48.31. So this is negative 48.31 meters per second.
So take note that the final velocity is negative because the object is going down.